Good morning, guys. I have a lot to get done this morning before I go pick up my kids from school. <sighs> There's messes everywhere. Here, breakfast stuff. The table is full of clean clothes and it's been like that for like weeks and I just, truthfully, I just don't care at this moment. Um, at least it's clean laundry. At least it's not like dirty laundry. I just, it's such a pain. I have had so much laundry, especially in the winter time. My kids wear more layers. Brett wears two long sleeve shirts plus his sweatshirt. Plus he just bought one of those like DeWalt zip up um, heated sweatshirts because it is so cold working. He works up until Christmas time and then he gets laid off for a couple months or whenever they call him back and then he goes back to work when the weather's nicer. But the end of the year is always so rough on them because it's so cold and so he's always bundled up. So long story short, I have a ton of laundry constantly in the winter time. Um, I just haven't. I've been like doing the laundry and then leaving it and then putting it away and then I'll do more laundry and put it on the table and then putting it away. So it's like, it's just like a, a vicious cycle. But I have two hours until I go pick up my kids. I have to get some last minute cleaning stuff done because my niece is coming this weekend. I have bit my tongue. There's been so many times where I'm like, make sure you do this because Sophie, you know, like I wanted to surprise them. So the plan is I'm gonna pick up do some vacuuming, I wanna mop, um, do some last minute cleaning stuff, go get them from school, tell them we're gonna come home, have lunch really quick, and then on our way to, and then head out to go to, um, we meet at a halfway point basically. It's about an hour, 20 minutes or so um, for both of us. So we both meet halfway, I pick her up, I drive back here and it's really nice having the kids too. Um, she's She always just falls asleep in the truck so she's a really good car rider. I remember making that drive when Dalton was a baby because my dad and stepmom and my brother, they all live down, and my grandpa, they all live like three hours down south from where we live and so Dalton was the worst baby to travel with. He would cry. I literally had like five binkies and snacks and stuff like up, um, in the center console because Brett was always working. So I would always go down there by myself with just him. And I remember if he would like drop his binky or something. Um... Did they not have those clips when he was a baby? Like the binky clips, they had to have. Or maybe I didn't know about it. But he was like little bitty. And I remember like he would drop the binky or something or he would start to cry and I would like grab the binky, reach around, like pop it in his mouth. And... Can I help you, sir? Sir? Sir, can I help you? Can I get right on my bed, little stinker? Oh, real nice, Shep. Real nice. Um, I've been keeping something from you guys. Hi. You wanna know what secret I've been keeping? What? We have to go home have lunch really quick or pack a lunch and then get in the truck and drive down to go get Sophie and she's gonna come with us she's gonna stay with us this weekend I don't want to drive <laughs> I know but we get Sophie we get Sophie out of the deal all right I just got home from getting Dalton the day I'm trying to hurry and pack them something to eat really really quick i'm trying to eat because my stomach is growling and then we need to go i also i also need to mop so i'm trying to hurry oh my gosh no i'm not going over there i have because i have to hurry and make your guys's lunch really quick this is who we're getting <laughs> Um, candy for the ride home so 
I'm going to make the trip back home and get Sophie settled. I always like to like slowly ease her back in because I know it's a lot to have two extra kids plus two dogs plus a new house plus she she hasn't seen us in a while so um, we are gonna go back home garbage yeah. we are going to go back home and um, probably play a ton and have lots of snacks <laughs> oh, <God. Her> <laughs> she's like let, let me see that <laughs> just just a little bit I was gonna be vanilla. One second. All right, it has been a couple hours. It's 5:18, so I need to start making dinner. I picked, I got stuff picked up a little bit. Um, I closed the coops and took the garbage out. And you're a huge help. You know that? Yeah. You're a very big help. Um, yes. I just got to set up her pack and play. I got my the sheets on my bed changed that I wanted to. I got laundry. Yes, I got laundry picked up, so now I just need to make dinner. And our baby gate broke, so I'm trying to block it off. The, the toilet seat's closed. Oh, it's messing with my watch I said in here. Come here, Soph. Why do we not play in the bathroom? Hey, Sophie. She's like, that's my Get out of the bathroom. You city girl. Come on. Let's come play oh. here. Oh. Uh oh. Um, I, I call her. Remember? Um. I forgot. You colored that. Okay, yeah. let's go out. Watch her. Watch her. <laughs> she is chasing you. Go get him. Oh, so our baby gate broke, and so I have these there for now. Um, <laughs> oh, you, you okay? Like, you feel that thing in your hand when you hit it Yes. Hard? That's all I feel in my hand. Um, I'm obsessed with these ones yeah. this tree. Oh my gosh, when I turned the tree on, she went crazy with the lights, poking all the lights. But she's pretty good. She hasn't messed with those. I mean, this is the first time she's really showed any interest in the tree, but um, I close this door a lot. Maylee's been... Maylee has been in the basement. Oh, turn that on, please. No, turn it on, please, for a second. Maylee has been in the basement a lot today, so I wanted her up here kind of walking around, getting used to Sophie being here. Um, they really leave Sophie alone. As soon as Sophie gets here, they just like to 
bother her a little bit, but once she's here for a little bit, then they calm down and leave her alone. But I don't want to shut this door yet because Maylee likes to go up and down for the puppy. You probably can't hear me because Dalton. It's very busy in here right now. Maylee, leave her alone. You're a good girl. So for now, I just have this in front of the basement and I will just have to um, just keep an eye and make sure she doesn't try to crawl underneath there. But most of the day, the door is gonna be closed. Alright, so for dinner tonight, we are. I, I definitely plan ahead when I know Sophie's coming. What? Well, you swap them and put Maddie out and go and jump in. Because okay. Bo usually likes being outside more. She's fine. She's not chasing or anything. I'll tell you what, though, keeping all three dogs separate, having Bo and Shep up here most of the time or outside and just having Maylee in here, she's so much more calm. And it's like. It, Having them separated is just what's gonna have to happen until we get her fixed. I plan I plan ahead for dinners when I know yes. Sophie's coming. So tonight we're just having grilled cheese and tomato soup. I buy those dollar French bread at Walmart, um, and then I just cut it into little slices and buy shredded cheese. Oh my gosh, I got hiccups. Shredded cheese and sliced cheese and tomato soup, and that's it. So very simple dinners for the next couple nights. Sophie will eat whatever we eat. She's really been snacking a lot, so I don't yeah. think I'm gonna give her a big, a big dinner, but I'm gonna go ahead and cook dinner. Brett should be home soon, it's 5.30. Oh look at her. She's just like this, laying under there. What are mm -hmm. you doing? Like I didn't mop mm -hmm. in here. Mm -hmm. Where is Bayla? Oh, I like your oh, shoes. Oh, I like, oh my goodness. You got full belly? You love that. Nurse Sophie. Bruh. She's been she's been walking around with that around her neck all day. <laughs> No, no, get that little foot down. Come here, let's go make cookies. Come here, come here, cookies. Come here, let's go make cookies. Come here. Oh, oh. come on. I cannot tell you how jealous Chef gets. Oh, 
I cannot tell you how jealous Chef gets when Sophie is here. He is like mm. on another level of. Oh, hey. He's like, here, you take me. You got her? Yep. You gotta hold her around the booty. Here, I got her back. You adjust so that it's more comfortable. Good? Yep. <laughs> She's like, I don't want to. How are you holding me? No one's ever held me like this before. Don't hold my feet. Oh my goodness. Oh, she wants you to put those back on. Oh, she wants me to put these on. That's what I just said. Chap, get out of her face. Oh my gosh, she loves when the kids get on there. Alright, dinner's cleaned up, kind of. It was an easy cleanup. We are, I actually bought these uh, little cookies at Walmart so that we could make them and have them for this weekend, which they go quick. We just got done making the cookies and it's about 7.30 so in about, I think around 8 o'clock I'll probably put the big kids to bed and then I'll come downstairs and um, <clears throat> give Sophie a little bit of milk and try to get her to sleep. The first night is always a little rough um, trying to put her to sleep and then once she's here um, she gets used to being here so <clears throat> um, I'm gonna go ahead and call it a night. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with us today and I will see you in our next video. Good night.